Hello everyone and welcome to Interact 4.0, the early warning tool, Stop and Watch. Today we'll be talking about the purpose of Stop and Watch, staff who should be using Stop and Watch, which changes in resident condition to identify and report, and common barriers to communicating early changes. The purpose of Stop and Watch is to improve the quality of care for our residents, to guide direct care staff through a brief review of early changes in the resident's condition, to improve communication between frontline staff and the nurse in charge, and to prevent unnecessary hospital transfers. Through using Stop and Watch, we will help our residents by providing continuity of care, maintaining our familiar environment, avoiding the discomfort of long waits in the emergency room, eliminating risks associated with a hospital visit and or admission, and improving resident and family satisfaction. The Stop and Watch tool is designed to be used as you perform your daily work in the long-term care facility. The GNA to alert the LPN or RN of changes in the resident's condition and for the nurse to hear what you have to say. The early warning tool Stop and Watch requires direct care staff to identify early changes in resident condition and report them to the necessary support. The following are the early changes in resident condition that must be identified and reported using the early warning tool Stop and Watch. The first is changes in mental status. If the client becomes more sleepy, confused, or agitated, or anxious, it must be reported to the nurse. Changes in physical status must also be reported. This includes problem with walking or maybe transferring. Changes in function should also be noted, as in problems with ADLs. Changes in behavior. If a client suddenly starts to wander, become combative, yell, or become verbally or physically aggressive. Changes in pain and participation level are also included in the early changes detection tool. All of these categories are covered in the Stop and Watch Early Warning Tool. Using the acronym STOP and WATCH, nurses and direct care staff can become aware of the early changes that they need to report. STOP and WATCH stands for S seems different than usual, T talks or communicates less, O overall needs more help, P pain has new or worsening pain or participated less in activities, and A ate less, N no bowel movements in three days or diarrhea, D drank less, and then watch is W, weight change, A, agitated or nervous more than usual, T, tired, weak, confused, or drowsy, C, change in skin color or condition, and H, help with walking, transferring, and toileting more than usual. Any of the changes listed on this tool must be noted and monitored. This stop and watch system is implemented first by filling out that form. If you have identified a change while caring for or observing a resident. It should be noted that more than one change may be marked on the same form. Then the form should be given to the nurse taking care of the resident. Follow up when happened after you reported the change. Make sure that the changes were taken seriously. It is important to remember that it is better to report a change even if you have doubts about how important that change may be for the resident. When in doubt, fill it out. It's also important to observe closely and remember that if you do not know the resident, you may need to ask others who have more knowledge of the resident. Once a stop and watch form has been initiated by a direct care provider and has been handed to the licensed nurse, the following are the responsibilities of the licensed nurse. First of all, it is on the licensed nurse to use the SBAR communication tool and complete a personal nursing assessment. It is then essential to follow up with your charge nurse or with the nursing supervisor. Then, a 24-hour alert charting is initiated. The alert charting will be continued until the issue is resolved. A status report should also be included in each handoff report. Interact 4.0 Stop and Watch has many benefits. The staff benefits with the, by the knowledge that concerns are taken seriously and addressed. This also provides staff with the knowledge on how to identify residents who require acute care transfers more rapidly. This also helps maintain connection and provide support to resident and family. This also allows staff to improve care using clinical practice, as well as promoting the ability of the licensed nurse to practice at the level for which they are trained. Subtle but important changes in patient condition are often missed by direct care staff because of the following communication barriers. Unit nurses are usually busy giving out medications, taking physician orders, and maybe even admitting new residents. The GNAs are often very busy giving direct care. Because of this, subtle but potentially life-altering changes are often missed by direct care staff. 
Stop and Watch can help close this gap, providing better care to patients by improving communication.